What up, Dokoners? We have the newest Heroes characters, the final Heroes characters to ever drop in Dokkan. So today we're going to be checking out both Universal Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Bardock in the same video. Uh, I would rather not do separate videos for all of them because I don't have the time for that. So uh, before we jump in and try a bunch of different events, we're going to be doing a things a little bit differently this time. I'm going to start off with 55% and then I'm going to rainbow the unit. So then halfway through the video, ow, halfway through the video, I think we're going to come back to the same events that we were doing before or, uh, right now, and then we'll try them again. So I'm doing the whole showcase 55 and hundred percent in this video. Sadly, no max links. I don't have the ability to max out these characters because there's been so much on global that I can't do it. So that being said, let's take a look at what the units can do. And then uh, we will jump in, use the bookmarks in the video. Here we go. Universal Blue Goku, Dragon Ball Heroes, Kamehameha, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, 170%, extra stats plus 32 crossover, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, medium chance to crit for one turn. So if you launch multiple supers, the crit chance is additive. It just piles onto each other. Activates entrance animation upon the character's entry once only, defense plus 100%, launches an additional super attack for four turns from the character's entry. He plus two attack and defense plus 150, plus an additional attack plus 150 when attacking plus an additional defense plus 40% with each attack performed up to 200. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR excluded, to STR key spheres when there are three or more crossover category allies or an ally whose name includes Xeno on the team. Plus an additional attack plus 50% for the rest of the battle and great chance to guard with within the same turn with three or more key spheres. Additional attack plus 100% for the rest of the battle and guards all attacks within the same turn with five or more key spheres. Plus an additional attack plus 150% for the rest of the battle with seven or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional damage reduction of 40% when guard is activated. So a couple of things to take note of here. Number one, after you first pick up these amount of orbs and you activate these conditions, they will no longer apply. So if you pick up seven orbs on turn one, you will get additional 50, additional 100, and an additional 150. You will never get that again for 99 turns because that's how long a permanent stack counts for. So essentially, after you do the first turn of seven orbs picked up, you really just want to be targeting five or more key spheres every single turn. That way you have guaranteed guard, which then gives you the extra damage reduction. So that's how that works. That's what we're going to be trying to do. Active skill can be activated when there's a Xeno attacking in the same turn or straight up from turn five from the start of battle. Massively raise attack temporarily, cause ultimate damage, defense plus 30%. All attacks become crits for one turn. So in terms of hit of potential, as of right now, I'm thinking max additional and then the rest going to dodge is how I want to go about doing this. There's a lot of damage potential that we can see here with all of these extra attack buffs. So maybe if you put like some attack increases, that could also work. But I just feel like with the crit taken care of from the active skill and from multiple supers, you're kind of already taking care of the crit. So I think I'm personally okay with just launching a bunch of additionals or having a bunch of additional. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree, disagree. Max additional, the rest dodge. My opinion might change over the course of the video. And then for the Bardock real quick, this guy is a Super Saiyan's 130% lead. Greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, cause stream damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. He plus two attack and defense plus 150, medium chance to crit, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking plus an additional attack and defense plus 150 and chance to crit plus 30% when attacking if the target enemy is 70% health or less, plus an additional attack plus 150, chance to crit plus 30% when attacking if the target enemy is 40% health or less. So the less health the enemy has, the more lethal Bardock becomes. Attack plus 50 launches an additional super attack when the target enemy has a status effect, reduces damage received by 40% and gains even more damage reduction the less health the enemy has, 15% at 70 15% at 40. So again, the less health remaining on the enemy, the more powerful you become. This one is weird, but I kind of feel like it can work because you also get an extra stat boost and a guaranteed additional super attack after delivering the final blow. So ideally, you want this guy to actually get the kill, but sometimes when you do that with certain units, you're kind of left vulnerable. So the way that I see this is that this Bardock covers his own butt when he's trying to go for the killing blow, but if he fails to... The enemy is going to be so weak that you will have all of this extra damage reduction on top of raising attack and defense. So I kind of feel like this guy can be good, but I know a lot of people are pretty down on the unit. In terms of how to build the hit of potential, I'm thinking max additional and then the rest going into dodge because you're already taking care of the crit the more the less health the enemy has. I don't care about it. I just want him to get 
the ability to launch more supers and become more tanky so let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with my hit potential builds uh this is a bardock if there was any doubt about that hopefully this helps um bardock right there also pure saiyan this is not a gohan pretty sure some people were trolling thinking this was a gohan but it's not it is very much not a gohan all right that being said let's try out these units at 55 percent the friend unit is at 69 percent Let's go through a couple of stages and then uh, right. we'll take it from there. Let's we will this. upgrade in the middle of the video. All right. Oh my God. Look at my health. Bro, I got no health. Hold on. Hold on. Let me reset. Wait, 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 wait. All right. We got we got blue Goku on the first turn, but this is so bad. We don't even have 500,000 health. That's so weird. Oh, oh! Oh, wait, it's in Japanese. What was I thinking? No, Toon has not betrayed Dub and switched over to Sub. No, that's not what's happening. What's going on is they have basically given Global all of the voices that JP has had. For these uh, heroes characters, there is no licensed dub um, for these uh, for this anime, so these characters don't have official voices. They gave Global the JP voices. Even if you're on the JP select or the English selected language, you can still hear it. Dude, this aura is awesome. All right, so the friend unit is at 69%, level five links, which is kind of dope. So I'm gonna put this guy in slot one. We want to be picking up seven key spheres. We got it. So this right here covers us. So he's good. All the extra attack buffs are now there. And then I guess we'll... I kind of want to keep the God Trunks around. God Trunks will help us because he changes orbs to rainbow. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's do this. And let's do this. How much damage do we take slot one, frame one? Hit me. What was our attack stat? I missed it. 8.2 million attacks uh damage 8.2 million damage 13.3 million attacks then on the second super we're piling on the crit now 12.3 13.9 this is the oh this is 69 percent 9 million holy cow okay drunk still has more attack uh, let's wait till next turn. Next turn is really going to be where we where we see how the 55% does. Turn three, I mean. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we can't put Bardock in the slot one. That would be bad. Let's have Pan go first. Pan, please. Please dodge everything. Bardock. He has 40% damage reduction. So let's see how much we take from here. Xeno Super Saiyan Goku also gives a nice support for the turn. Okay, so we're setting up for some orb pickups next turn. So let me do... Oh... Dang it. You know what? I think I have to do this. Dodge, please. Thank you. Dodge. Thank you. Dodge. Thank you. I think you'll be fine even if you tank this. Thank you. All right, so 4.2 million attack stat. We're going to do nothing here. 2.9. We did lower attack and defense, though, so there is that. That's not bad. Not bad in the, in the context of the fight, because, like, we nerfed him. So now this guy's a little bit safer. That's kind of what I mean. All right, now we got the 55% and we got the 79%. Okay. I don't want to activate the entrance animation. But there's a pretty big difference right now because, remember, the friend unit at 69% picked up seven orbs. So he's juiced up out of his mind. 
We're going to do the same exact thing for this guy. Can we save some orbs? I would like to. Let's do this. Okay. We got uh, five links active, level four, level three. Pretty basic links. Uh, then we'll do this. Okay, good. Both units are covered. We don't need to pick up seven orbs anymore for the for the second guy. We only need to pick up five. But yeah, we good. All right, let's see what happens. Hit me. 10.2 million attack stat for the 55% universal blue Sungoku. 6.9 mil, okay. Very Q, 7.3. So far, they've all been crits, haven't they? Hey! <laughs> nice, all right. By the way, I'm just gonna say right now, when it comes to heroes characters, I have these units at a lower standard. I don't expect the same sort of performance that you would you would come to see from Tech LR UI Goku or Beast Gohan. They just are not on that level. So I'm a little bit more easily impressed than I'm sure some of you might be, but that's just how I choose to be. That's how I choose to live with the copium that Heroes is where it's at. Okay, so I want to keep the Bardock around and uh, hopefully we can do some good damage to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and use this right now. I'm going to go ahead and use this right now. so weird dude that is so weird hearing it in sub all right let's do this and then we will do hmm. i'll do it like this i think he'll be almost dead and then we'll have bardock finish him off let's see i want to get that finishing blow one two Three. Hey, nice dodges from Pan. Very good. 6.6. Oh, uh, we should be fine. Even if we get hit, we'll be fine. <laughs> All right, for sure he's below 70%. So we have a little bit more damage reduction. We have a little bit more attack now, right? Only launched one attack, really? Eh, whatever. Dude, these two work so well together. I love that combo. And we have the 50% support this turn, courtesy of Xeno Super Saiyan. Okay, um, I want to save the active skill for the final round. No, actually, you know what? We should do this here when we have type neutral. Let's go ahead and use the active skill now. How many links do we have? Six links active. Here we go. Nine point nine million, and we gave ourselves extra defense, thirty percent extra defense. So, with all of that plus damage reduction and guard, we will be just fine. Watch this. Check this out. Hit me. Come on, I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Hit me. Twelve point two. Damn it. There's one. There's two. We did what? What? Eight million? Seven point eight? Something like that? All right. He day it. So far for UI Blue Zone, this has been smooth sailing. All right. I'm going to put Pan in slot three. I'm going to put STR UI in slot one because I kind of want to see how much damage we take. Also, let's go ahead and activate this again. This is 69%. Eight point four million on AGL UI. All right, let's do this. How many links do we have here? We have 
uh, four links active. Also, we have the support from Pan. How much are we getting? We're getting an extra 15... Per oh, wait. We're getting 30% crit this turn. I didn't even realize that. I forgot about that. And 40% attack and defense. 60%. 60%. Yeah, 60%. Oh my god. We're getting 60% attack and defense and 30% extra crit. Oh, and he's hitting me. Okay. How much damage do we take? Let's see. We're going to get sealed, which is going to suck. 228. That's really good. I will take that. I will take that. Would have been nice to see the damage there, but we'll we'll test it next turn. Defense wise, that's really good. I think for the sake of the showcase, though, I think what I'll do now is I'll try sell map. Um, would sell map be a good next step? Yeah, I'm gonna try sell max. We're gonna jump up to sell max after this. Keep on dodging, baby. All right, here we go. Final turn. Oh, God. What the? I still get my five orbs. I still get the five from the rainbow key spheres. I'll take it. I'll take it. Enemy has how much health now? Wait, okay, definitely. Well, that's, that's got to be 40%, right? So we've got our full crit built up. We've got our full damage reduction built up. All right, so we're going to have this guy go first. I'm going to put the Bardock second because I'm hoping Bardock will finish him off. We'll see that. And then we'll do this. All right, here we go. 18,000. 19,000. Oof. All right, we did about 5 million there. 9 million attack stat. No crit on the second super. A little unlucky. Alright, let's see what this guy can do. 4.1. Here comes an additional. Nah, he's not going to kill him. Oh, do one more. Do one more. Oh, wow. How much are we going to take on this? Oh, come on, dude. All right, now we're going to test out Cinemix. We got double 55%. My unit is low level links like twos, threes, and fours. Friend unit is 55% and max links. So let's see how we do here. We're stress testing. We're not necessarily trying to win overall. So, um, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. That's horrible. He can't pick up any orbs. Um, okay. So in this particular situation, we would not want him to be in slot one. Can't do it. But I also kind of just want to see how much damage he would take straight up. So I'm going to let it happen. Do not try this at home. I repeat, do not try this at home. All right. So we are solely relying on the ability to stack multiple times just from the passive first four turns. Let's just see how much damage we take. So 2.8 mil on the first super. Three on the second. We got a third one. So without any guard, without any damage reduction, how much are we going to take? Also, we got extra defense from launching attacks. That also helps. Bro, that's pretty good. 244,000 damage? That's pretty good. What the heck? I mean, in the context of heroes, that's like half your health, which sucks, but good for us. Uh, okay. 
So can we pick up seven orbs? Yes, we can. So the friend unit is taken care of. And who's got higher defense? Okay. Xeno Super Saiyan in slot two. All right, we're going to die here, but I just want to see how much damage we take in slot one. Okay, ouch. Five. That's also good. 523 is actually not bad. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Let's see how much damage we take after everybody supers. Please dodge. Thank you. Good lord. Ouch. Somebody help. 40% damage reduction plus one stack, maybe two. How are we going to do? That wasn't bad either. We took 153 per slap. We just have no health. Why do they make these units and teams just barely any health? All right, we're going to be launching at least three supers. Plus guard, plus 40%. We actually, I think we're going to survive this. Yep. Well done, team. Bulma? Thank you, Bulma. All right, let's recover a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. And uh, let's do that. Look at that. We're back to full health. Based on his passive, this guy can function on teams outside of heroes because he does have a sizable amount of 200% leaders that work. The only downside is that he can't change orbs, his own orbs into STR. So if you have an adequate amount of rainbow orb changers or somebody else who's going crazy on the orb changing i think this unit could still work on other teams and at that point he's not going to be like the main attraction on your team he's going to be an afterthought he's going to be a slot three floater or he's going to be a slot two to help maximize someone's links I wasn't paying attention. How much damage did we take from Trunks? Oh, wow. Trunks didn't take any damage? Hello? Uh, you know what I should be doing? I should probably use a scouter. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to put Pan in slot three. Um, oh, dude. We're so dead. Forget. So with seven orbs... Oh, yeah, we don't need seven orbs. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's do... Uh, I'm going to save the active. Let's do this. And let's do this. All right. All I ask is that this clown doesn't get hit. Don't do it. Don't do... Okay. 10.3 million attack stat, 55%, medium lower links, 60% support for the turn, and 30% extra crit chance. Oh! 90k. 200k, let's go! Oh, come on, stupid kid! Whatever, I got what I needed. All right, we're going to do a Beast Gohan Blue Zone run, and then after this, we're going to give the units 100%, and then we're going to jump back in to the same three fights. All right, so to start things off, I want to have these guys mainly on rotation. Can we pick up seven orbs? Seven orbs. Eesh. All right, I'm going to bench Bardock. Um, if I do this, does that give me my seven? Yes, it does. Perfect. Let's do that. And let's do this. All right. Pan, don't screw this up again. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. All right. 9.4 million attack stat. How much do we do? We got type advantage. We're definitely going to be launching like four supers here. Actually, Bardock has a decent chance of killing him. That's two. Here's the third one. If these guys were rainbowed, I feel like he actually could. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to put Xeno Super Saiyan in slot 1. Let's get him stacking early. And then we'll do this. And we'll do that. I hate how he loses 50% after one turn. That sucks so much. Make sure to give that Xeno Super Saiyan Goku lots of defense. The more defense he gets, the more resilient he is, even without guard or damage reduction in certain situations. All right. Phase one is good. Second phase. Oh, wait a second. He is immune to stuff. What is he immune to? Key Blast Supers. Does this guy launch a Key Blast Super attack? No, he doesn't. All right, I'm putting this baby in slot one. Let's see how much damage we can take. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. And let's do this. Dude, that aura goes crazy. I believe with this right here, he's maxed out his defense. He's launched five attacks, I'm pretty sure. So his defense is now maxed out. His attack hasn't been like, you know, groundbreakingly crazy, but it's serviceable. Heroes is kind of a win by committee sort of team, and he fits right in. I don't really have any complaints. I think he runs fine. I'm definitely giving him max additional. I don't need the crit. Especially with Pan on the team. I, I didn't even realize that when I was getting ready to do this video. Pan's crit boosting is huge. You don't need to... I don't I don't think you need to worry about giving him crit. He's got a base 5 crit anyway. So, like, meh, whatever. Here, we have 5 orbs. That's all we need. We don't actually need 7. So, we're good. Uh, then, we'll do this for Xeno Super Saiyan. We could die this turn. But if Bardock can get that kill, that'd be awesome. Eleven million attacks at 50 50 percent support for the turn. Like five or six links active. Has he supered me? Ah oh, crap. Don't super him. Don't super We have no health. All right, we're going to jump back into the Beast Gohan Blue Zone with everybody now rainbowed. So I have given my unit max additional and then the rest into dodge. I've also chosen to give a little bit more health just because this team has no health as it is. Might as well give whatever we can and a level six attack buff. And then for the Bardock, I am going max additional and balance or the rest dodge again with some more health in there. This is what the friend unit has done. This is also very good. Giving some defense and some offense. Good idea. So let's do it. All right. Let's do this. So we're going to now quickly go back in and go through the three fights that we just did. So we're going to start with Beast and then we'll go to sell Max, I guess. And then we'll go back to UI.
we're going to be seeing a huge difference now. Huge! Seven? Seven? There it is. Seven. <laughs> All right. And then we'll have Trunks go. There's a good shot we could kill here. If we did, that would be so nice. Because then Bardock can get his extra 100%. He can get his guaranteed additional. He might be able to stand up to Beast Gohan when he's almost dead. That's what I would love to see. Let's have it. 15.5 million attack stat for the 100% friend unit. Universal Blue. 14.1 million damage. You're already seeing the difference. Oh, it looks good. Dude. Oh my God. Bardock's not going to kill him. Bardock's not going to kill him. He's gonna, he's gonna kill him himself. Stop! Oh my God, 17.8 million attack stat. Okay, he just soloed Gohan. That's, that is psycho. All right. Well, so much for that. Let's try it again over here. Only here, we have a boosted crit because of pay. And I also have Xeno Super Saiyan on the same route. They only have three links in common? Dude, that sucks. They only have three links? What the? All right, so let's do this. I'm going to keep the Xeno Super Saiyan on the... No, you know what? Pan's more important. Yeah, Pan's more important. The extra crit really matters. All right, let's do that. Um, I want to save all those orbs, so let's do this. All right. Only the Fierce Battle Link. Double digits. All right, we're getting supered. How much are we going to take? You would not want this guy in the slot one, right? You want him in the slot two, but we're still stress testing. 265,000. All right, so 13.4 on the first super. Give me that crit. Dang it. All right, 14.1 on the second super. 8.5 million damage. 14.7 on the third super. We got guaranteed crit now, right? Yeah. Nine. Oh, we couldn't launch another one. The only thing that's going to suck is that I don't have a Sensu Bean. So let's pray on some good RNG. Thanks for tanking everything, buddy. All right, we need seven orbs again. So let's do this. And then we'll do this. And we'll do this. Considering we took 250 something thousand on the last turn. This turn, we have a unit with extra defense as the bronze skill orb slot. So if we get supered pre our super, then we should take probably more like 220, 200. But we didn't. This guy's going to kill him for sure. Never mind. 16.3 million attacks on the second super. 9.9. .9. Here's the third super, 17.1. I think I like the friend unit build more than mine. The extra health, I don't know if I care about it. 17.8 on the fourth super. Ew. Oh, this is gonna do nothing. Pickle damage. Right? Yep, pickle damage. Nice. All right, final round. Oh, why? No. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, he's dead. All right, let's go ahead and use this. 13.6 million damage on that active. That's cool. Dude, we're so dead. I should have brought a sense of being so dumb. Six. Oh, yeah, we don't need seven, so we'll do this. 
If there's any chance that we can dodge, please let it be now. We have six dodge. Come on, buddy. You got this. Don't screw this up. Don't screw... Ooh! 58,000 on a slap? But okay, well, he does no damage. That's fine. Nobody cares. He took 58,000 damage from a slap from Beast. That's crazy. There's a second super. Yo, let's go! All right, 15.1. How much are we going to do here? 11.6. Here comes an additional. That's good for the Bardock showcase, anyway. Bardock's got some backbone. All right, only two supers. Make that three. Oh, he didn't do it. Would have been nice to see. If somehow we can survive this turn, maybe next turn we'll get it. Dodge. 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 Oh, he just didn't do it at all. All right, well, let's use this active skill. 17.7. .7. I think our luck's about to run out. He's got 800,000 health, but it's not going to be enough. And Trunks has how much dodge? 10 dodge. This one, he has zero dodge. Yeah, that's GG. That is GG. I think I'm going to I'm gonna go for the 800,000 defense. If he doesn't super for three hits, then we're good. If he does, it's fine. We got the message across. We also have... Look at our health now. 541... All right, back on Cerumix. Let's do this. We have met the seven orb permanent condition, so we don't need to do that ever again. So let's do this, and let's do this. We're going for the win here. Or, you know, unless an idiot on my team throws in the towel again. 17.7 million attack stat for the rainbow friend. We have Pan on the rotation, so pretty much everything's gonna be a crit. I gotta say, I'm I'm liking how much more complete the team feels in terms of like a good balance of slot one, slot twos, and slot threes. Obviously, still heroes lacks a lot in terms of like health stats. But if the standards are low, like they are for me and for heroes, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. Dude, double digits against Cell Max. That that's significant. You know what I kind of feel like doing? I feel like at the end of this, I'm going to do a quick, like, 10-second losing session against uh, Janemba. We'll do a quick run-in with Janemba at the end of the video. Dodge, please. Dodge, please. Dude, after two dodges? Damn, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Even if we don't win, we saw what we needed. So this this turn right here, this is a showcase for Bardock. Bardock's got about three or four links active, 50% support from the Xeno Super Saiyan right here. Let's see how much he tanks for. Dang, he takes 140,000. Oh, dude. Oh, we're so close to dead. Bardock, can you keep us alive for the turn? Let's see. Here's one. We do no damage. Awesome. Two. Yo, okay. Wow, well done. All right, now my friend unit is here. 
So I gotta get my friend unit to pick up, or my unit to pick up seven orbs. Okay. So let's do this. Seven orbs acquired. Uh, then we'll do... We'll do this. Uh, friend unit, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the active for the friend unit. Let's do that. 11.8, okay. All right, this is gonna be an all-out killing spree this turn. Watch this. Watch this. We're gonna see like 10 supers this turn. There's one. There's two. We're hovering around like 15 million or higher, which is a healthy amount. 17.9. Guy does about 10. Don't super me, don't super me, don't super me. Nah! Ooh, 10 dodge! Let's go, baby! And this is all with Cell Max operating at max. He hasn't been nerfed yet. This was an impressive run by the Hero Squad against full power Cell Max. That's really good. Yeah, we're good here. Now he gets nerfed and now this is going to be easier. There it is. Look at that. All right, let's do this. Does nothing. Pathetic. Um, I want to save all these orbs, so let's do this. Let's do that, and let's do that. One. Thank you. All right, final round of the video. We are going to be taking on the UI Goku Blue Zone. Once again, we are back. Now we are stronger than ever. Let's do this and let's do this. I'm a little mad at Pan right now, so we're benching Pan because Pan's an idiot. 13.5. Let's go. Dude, just kill him. Actually, no, wait, no, 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 no. Don't kill him. Let let the Xeno Super Saiyan stack at least once. Come on, buddy. Let me stack a little bit. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose because of that. That's fine. It's fine. Individual accolades, though, though, that's what matters. This guy's cooking right now. He's cooking a lot. Seven orbs. Yes, please. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna keep Vegito around. I'll bench the trunks. We'll keep trunks and pan floating around. All right, 24,000 on the slot pre-super. Okay. Remember, slot one, frame one, universal blue, not going to be as good as slot one, frame one after like four turns where you've built up your extra 200% defense. That's a big difference, along with the orbs. Nice damage. Very nice damage. You know who would have been great right here? Bardock. Eight point seven, and you did. All right. All right. Up next, Tech UI. My unit has done... Oh, this is the friend unit. I think three supers. So far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't even need that. Can we just do five? No, we can't. All right. So there's seven. We might lose here. Um, There's a good chance we're going to lose. Good chance we're going to lose. It's fine. If it happens, it happens. It's all good. Okay, 
Okay, no super slot one. 12.1 million attack stat, 50% support, 200% lead. And three links active. 13.3. Ooh, 13.9. All right, four supers. Good damage. Good damage. We'll probably lose here, but that's probably a good thing because the video will wrap up under an hour. Be nice. Be nice. Great. All right, so there you have it. My final thoughts on the Universal Blue and the Super Saiyan Bardock. I like them. I, I am pleasantly surprised by how resilient that Bardock actually can be in certain situations. But again, just remember, my standards for heroes characters are a little bit lower than some might think. Um, some people might probably think these guys should be functioning on par with Dokkan festivals. While that may be true, the simple fact of the matter is they're not. They have less health, they have less stats in certain respects. So I don't really see them as that level. I see them as a little bit less. And that still covers, what, 70, 80% of the content? So these units still function fine. I'm very ple pleasantly surprised with how uh, functional this unit is on a heroes team. But also, you can run this unit on non-heroes squads. Lots of great leader skills that work with this unit. You just will have to be a little bit more mindful about the orbs. But like I said, all you have to do is pick up seven orbs once. Once you pick up all the permanent attack boosts, your sole objective will be to focus on picking up five. And this guy doesn't have to be your slot one unit. This can be your slot two or slot three because he's way better off in those situations and he will be just fine. So yeah, I, uh, I'm very happy with this. Hit a potential build will stay as max additional. I'm probably gonna restructure and give a little bit more attack and more defense, kind of like what the friend unit was. And then for the Bardock, I didn't really get to see him use that finishing blow. It'll happen at some point. Max additional is 100% what I'm going to keep him as because I just need him to be launching a bunch of attacks. Even once he gets that finishing blow, launching an additional super on top of the extra stats, all the damage reduction, he will not get you killed. That's his main goal. He tanked Beast Gohan. I'm impressed, man. He tanked Beast Gohan for what, 50,000? 50, 58,000? I was not expecting that from the enigmatic fighter. Not bad. So coming up next, let's test out the evil heroes characters. But for now, I'm very happy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Universal Blue Goku, the Super Saiyan Bardock. How would you build these units? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and Arjun to Dokkan responsibly.